Let's talk about dummy subjects. Uh, who you calling a dummy? Oh, look, you made it cry. Hey, everyone. So let's take a moment to talk about subjects in English. English is a language that requires a subject unless we're giving a command. So if I say something like open the window or follow us on TikTok, that is a situation where we don't have a subject in the sentence. In all other contexts though, we do need a subject. So if I said something like, I am making a TikTok video right now, I am the subject and we need that. Now, because we require a subject, sometimes we use what we call an empty or dummy subject. We call it this because dummy subjects don't carry a lot of meaning. They just fill our subject position. It and there are examples of dummy subjects. Dude, we're right here. It, get it together. Sorry, y'all. So where was I? Let's look at some examples of it and their in action as very important dummy subjects. Okay, so with it, I might say something like, it is raining outside, or it is important to study grammar. With there, we could say, there is someone calling you, or there is a lot of leftover pizza. So in all of these examples, it and there are filling our subject position. So dummy subjects can be tricky, especially when we're just learning. It's easy to drop the dummy subject and say something like, is raining outside. But we wanna make sure not to do this. We can't drop that subject in English. We have to say, it is raining. I've also heard students make a lot of mistakes like, I'm hard to learn English, or I'm easy to learn English. And I think what they mean is, it is hard for me to learn English, or it is easy for me to learn English. We wanna be careful with this one. We can't say, I am hard to learn English. And you definitely don't wanna walk around saying, I am easy or I am hard, trust me. So instead say, it is easy, to do something or it is hard to do something. All right, good luck out there.